Well, ladies and gentlemen, Ubisoft has done it once again. They released the new teaser and trailer for their brand new Assassin's Creed game, and we now know that it takes place in the Viking era. And it couldn't have come at a better time. Illy and I were trying to decide what it is we wanted to make next, and Boss Logic and Ubisoft kind of made the decision for us. Not only did the teaser reveal that the game would be taking place in the Viking era, but it also gave us our first glimpse at a brand new aggressive looking battle axe that's going to be added to the Assassin's Creed Armory. And Ilya and I both knew that we were going to have to forge it for you. The material that we've decided to start with is 1045 round stock. This is the same steel that we make all of our forging hammers out of. Our first task is to turn the round stock into square stock so that we have nice flat areas to begin punching the eye of the axe. Now punched, we can now move on to isolating the back spike area of our axe. To begin forging the edge of the axe, Ilya first isolates the material with the top tool. He then changes the dies on the power hammer to some aggressive drawing dies. This will allow him to pinch and pull material in any direction he chooses. Assassin's Creed is known for immersing you, the player, in whatever culture the game takes place in, leading you to believe that whatever beautifully elaborate weapons they design did exist in that culture. However, we know that Viking axes never had back spikes. In fact, I could only find one or two examples of them having anything out the back of the axe, more likely to be a hammerhead or something like that. And the battle axes that we know, big two-handed Viking battle axes, didn't really exist. Now they did use two-handed battle axes, but it wasn't the big massive head that you're used to seeing in fantasy. It was more of a smaller head on a long pole. You see, the two-handed nature of it wasn't about being able to lift something heavier, it was about the reach to get out further from their opponent. And that's why most historical Viking axes are quite small and sleek, no matter how long of a pole they're mounted on. In fact, possibly the two most important factors in battle is how fast you can move and how far you can engage an opponent away from you.
now grown too large to fit in the propane forge. It's time to move to coal. Boom, our axe is forged. It's time to do a little bit of grinding. I basically have to go around the perimeter up here at the point and then add in a little more cut in behind the beard. Then I have to move on to shaping our back spike into the Assassin's Creed logo. Let's get to grinding. Quick changing attachments on our Broadback Ironworks grinder make cleaning up all the different areas on this axe a pretty quick job. Viking axes and weapons in general were more often than not adorned with elaborate decoration in the form of engraving or more often than not, inlay. Now Assassin's Creed did an amazing job designing the new Valhalla logo that's actually engraved in the side of our axe. It's two battle axes with braided handles that form the classic Assassin's Creed A. We have to engrave that on the side of the axe before we heat treat it, otherwise it will be impossible to carve. To heat treat the axe, we're going to move to the charcoal forge as it provides just enough width to evenly heat up the entire beard and blade portion. I watch for an even color and then move into water. Right after the water quench, I pull out the axe and watch for the color from the body to creep up to the edge. 
carefully cooling off or heating up certain portions to reach an even temper. After the temper is achieved, I move back to the charcoal forge and start heating up the spike while cooling off the edge protecting it. The very last bit of metal work we have to do on the axe before we can mount it is to establish our cutting edge. So I'm going to move to a 36 grit on a 14 inch contact wheel and start grinding our edge and polish it all the way out. Now Viking axes and pole weapons in general, more often than not, had halves made out of ash or hard birch, depending on what region they're from. We've decided to go with a hard birch to give our axe a more authentic feel. The halves on original Viking axes were long and tapered, and probably a lot more dainty than you think. Remember as I said before, it's more important to have your weapon be light, quick, and swift in battle than it is to be heavy and menacing. We here at That Works love making axes, so this has been a great build. And Ubisoft with Assassin's Creed weapons never fails to come through with a beautiful design. It's kind of tough making a weapon from a video game that hasn't come out. We'll have to wait a couple more months to see if we got this one right. Assassin's Creed Battle Axe build. 
If you'd like a chance to win this Hand Forged Thor's Hammer pendant, all you have to do is like this video and share on social medias using the hashtag AxeWorks. As always, don't forget to tell us in the comments below what build you want to see this team build next. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to That Works.